welcome back everyone something a little bit different today i was going to be putting out the bedroom renovation film today but due to delayed deliveries it's not going to happen and i thought i need to put something out a lot of you have been asking about underwear tips um what to wear under garments I, I often speak about special items what i'm wearing under my clothing you know it, it all helps hides the lumps and bumps and i do think that if you get the underwear right you will look better in what you wear um and that for me is confidence boosting and that is exactly what it does for me it boosts my confidence a little bit I look a little bit slimmer and less lumpier in what I'm wearing it all helps so I've dragged all my bits and pieces out today I'm gonna share some tips with you and hopefully they'll be helpful so I'd love to hear what you think of the film a lot of you have requested this vlog so I thought today is the day that it's gonna be done so let's get on right now i'm going to share with you my most beloved item of underwear that i've got and this is years old i think it's got to be at least eight years old and it has helped me out no end i cannot tell you this is by a brand called chapeze i got this when i first started vlogging and this is all about the back now i carry my weight a lot in my back you know i've got that extra roll i absolutely hate it so when i'm wearing something a little bit snug on the body and i want that roll at the back to be less noticeable this is what i reach for so you it, it's just like a vest with a bra on the front don't worry ladies i'm not going to be showing any of my bits off in this film so this is like a vest at the back and it's just it just hugs you in it makes every bit of difference the other thing that i like about this is it's quite long in the body so not only does it hold me in at the back it skims across my belly it's quite long it covers my belly and it really holds me in i am not sure if these are available anymore they were they have their own website, Shapees, and there's also, I think you can buy them on Amazon as well. They're not cheap, but like I said, I've had this for eight years, and it really is a good piece of kit to have in your wardrobe. Um, yeah, I know Marxies do uh, vest types as well, so I'm going to throw a picture up of one actually. I've not tried them but I would imagine that they do a very similar thing and yeah I've got to say that is my most favourite item I, I wear it a lot it's great with uh, anything tight across the back so yeah that's the first piece um, bras let's talk about bras now everything changed for me when I had my first professional fitting and measuring at Marks and Spencers and I don't know if you all go and get measured but it it blew me away I could not believe the difference you know mum used to say to me go and get measured properly to get you know get the right fit and one day I did and it changed everything and every couple of years or so or if I lose weight or gain weight I'll go and get measured again to, to see the difference and I also find as well different brands have different measurements for sure um, yeah so Marks's was the first place that I went and it did make a lot of difference uh, this is my ultimate push up bra from Marks's I've had this year's as well um, I'll see if it's still available but this is my push-up bra I wear this mostly evenings if I'm going out it's very comfortable 
it's worth going in there and getting the right fit. I'm pretty sure Marks's keep you on record because I remember this wasn't the first bra that I bought from Marks's. This is way down the line. And I'm pretty sure they have my measurements. They'll go and get your bras. They'll bring in. You don't have to be showing your body off. I'm very modest. You know, I, I was dreading going and having a bra fitting, but you're totally left on your own to try the bras on and then the assistant will come in and explain what is good or what is bad about that bra and then she'll get you the sizes that she thinks will fit you better and make you look better. Yeah, so good on Marx's. That I think Marx's is the place to go now. I've got another favourite brand here, Fantasy. And I know that they're sold in Marks's now as well, which is absolutely great. So if you like the fantasy range, I personally do. I think it's best for bras and underwear. Um, so you can get fitted, especially for a fantasy bra rather than a Marks's bra, because I know they're different. Um, yeah, give them a try. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Now this is what I bang on about the most, isn't it? The full slip. I've got two of these. I've got a black one and a nude one. And you'll find that most of my underwear is actually nude. There's, there's no sexy stuff, sorry. This is all about how I feel and what I look like. That's what's important to me. So, yeah. The full slips from Marks's. These came as a pair. I think I bought these late summer last year and I have not stopped wearing them. These are the thermal ones, I'm pretty sure. But under your dresses, absolutely brilliant. It's amazing how differently a dress can hang on your body wearing a slip. It really is a game changer. I always thought I don't want to wear a slip because it's adding an extra layer to my body. It's going to make me look bigger. Um, I don't know why I had that in my head. I did for years. But I thought I'm going to buy them because I wanted to wear my dresses. I've been talking a lot about wearing more dresses and it's been freezing. And these make all the difference. This is that extra layer you need to be able to wear your dresses. But it's not just about that, it's about how the dress hangs differently with a slip underneath. So definitely worth trying ladies. You know, go Marks's, put one of your dresses on, go Marks's and try one of these on underneath and see the difference. It really does make a difference. So I don't know if the black one's here yet. There's the black one. They're not expensive at all either. But they really have been a game changer for me. Yeah, so never be without them again. Right. Let's talk about fantasy. Now, my favourite t-shirt bra is by fantasy. It's, I've had this, I think, three or four years. This is the one I go for. It's completely seamless yeah this is by fantasy and what i like about fantasy is you can pick a bra and then if you want to pick the matching briefs you can pick a thong or mini briefs or mid brief you know or you can pick the right high brief i've actually got a pair of the high briefs here and you can match it up and be comfortable in what you prefer so i think that that is lovely but yeah, this is an excellent t-shirt bra. Absolutely excellent. Um, you've just got this little edge in here. I don't know how it works, but it, you never see anything underneath a t-shirt wearing this bra. So I've been really, really pleased with it. Um, what can I say about it? It's just a good all-round bra that I've been really pleased with and again nude you know you can wear nude under anything really it if you're going to invest in one bra invest in a nude one because 
it will go under anything and also with fantasy I've got this one as well you could wear this as a t-shirt bra but this is the non-wired bra and this was the first non-wide bra that I found that fitted really well. It's comfortable. Um, you've got this wide band along here. And that just keeps on the hold, you know. It stops you from uh, sagging. Really, really nice. It's actually the same design as this one but you can see which one's been used more so I'm pretty sure this is more washed out than this one but yeah this is nice if, if you if you have a problem with underwires I remember I did a um a story on my Instagram about this because there's so many women that don't like to wear underwired brows uh, you know it might irritate you and and this is the solution. I find that this one really does hold you up. And another thing, always, once a month or so, go through your straps. Go through your straps and make sure they're, they're at the right height because they all move. They do move. And, I, you know, that's another good tip. Them straps being raised or lowered can make all the difference to how that bra will fit and look. And if the bra's looking right, your tops are going to look right and you will feel better. Yeah, but for a non-wide bra, definitely recommend that one. Right, I've got loads of bras from Fantasy because these are all a good couple of years old. But I've worked with them in the past and I love their fit. I got specially measured by Fantasy. They do beautiful designs they're not overly expensive and they're comfortable i find these this style i'll leave the links in the box below but this style they're all the same they just give you that really per uplift if that makes sense um yeah really really impressed with the fantasy so if you're in marxist take a look also another another one from fantasy I've got a couple more pieces by Fantasy here. It's going to feel like a Fantasy haul, but it's not. There's other things, I promise. Yes, I've, I've talked about this in the vlog before as well. This is the strapless bra, and this is by Fantasy as well. I have tried a lot of strapless bras, and this is the best. The best I've ever tried. You know, you put a, you can put a strapless bra on and they're so uncomfortable where they move about. You feel like you've got to hoik them up all the time. They slip. They don't give you the lift that you want. But this does. It's absolutely excellent. It's got a really wide strap to it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is like um, a rubber along here. So you don't get any slip, it completely holds you in place. And this one actually gives you the lift as well. And you've got a nice moulding to it. I think a moulded bra is good, it will give you a nice shape. Yeah, so that's that. I've got a black one as well. I've got the straps here. This comes with straps so you can wear it as a normal bra. That's the black one. So it comes in black or black or nude but again if you was going to buy one I'd definitely go for a nude right let's scrub fantasy for a minute and talk about knickers right what have we got here a few pairs the best briefs that hold knickers that I've ever found, believe it or not, are Tesco's. Tesco's, they are just the best knickers. I've got a new pair here. So you get two pairs of these for six pound. They're quite pricey. These are the shorts briefs. And they normally come, you get two, so you'll get black and white, or you'll get nude, I think you get nude and blue. 
um, these are the best knickers ever. I have bought this style from H&M, I've bought them from Marks's, I've bought them from Primark and none of them come close to these knickers. Now I can't leave you a link for these but trust me ladies when you're in Tesco's go and have a look. I wear a size medium I'm pretty sure. Yes size medium. They are so comfortable you don't know you've got them on. They're really seam free on the legs, so stretchy, so comfortable, honestly, they are the best, best I've come across. So I've got black, I've got white, obviously I've got the nude, this is the most colours that I've got, the nude, really, really good. And I was talking about the high briefs, and these are my high briefs from uh, Fantasy, they go with a black bra. This is the same style bra that I was talking about. It gives you those pert boobies and it's a really lovely set on. And I, I actually think these Bridget Jones, they're so flattering, they really are because they cover your belly. They come up to here on me. They're, they've, you've just got a little gap between the bra and, and the knickers and it looks really nice, really nice on. Right, camisoles. Now, my nude one is actually in the wash but I've got a nude camisole and a black camisole. I think these are invaluable for sheer blouses. Um, my nude one is the one that I wear the most it's exactly the same as this and you know sometimes you get these with tops and I'll take it away from the top and I'll hang them separately in the wardrobe so you've always got them to hand and I think when you've got a sheer top on if you've got any lumps or bumps like me and you have a sheer camisole over the top it completely hides those lumps and bumps it really does, it makes so much difference. So yes, camisoles, you need a couple of those as well. Um, now, huggy knickers. I've got two pairs here. A black and a nude. These are the only two pairs that I've got. This one, I'm pretty sure when I bought these, that was folded over like that but I removed it to give a higher waist and the best huggable knickers I've found are from Primark they've been the, the best ones by far they wash nice, they do the job the only thing is that I find you've got to get these to fit right otherwise you get a big roll over the top where it sucks you in so it's coming out over the top. Um, so if I was to say wear a really tight pair of trousers or a pair of trousers and I wanted to look slimmer I would make sure that this waistline is finishing on the waistline of the trouser and then when you put the belt on if you've got that little roll, put a blousy top on over the top and you, that will hide that roll so it makes the difference, I think anyway. They give you a nice little bum lift as well. So yeah, if I want something huggable. Primark seem to be the best ones, I think. Now, another invaluable piece of kit bought recently if you're regular you'll know about these the fleece tights so again I've tried ways of wearing my dresses in this freezing cold weather and this has worked along with the petticoat you layered up and these are great these really hold your belly in as well I will say that these are the fleece lined tights from Amazon you put them on and you cannot see look it just looks like you've got sheer tights on they're absolutely brilliant and they have really kept me warm 
I totally recommend these ladies. I think I put these in my favourites vlog actually. I think they're brilliant. I think they're only £12 a pair. These have been washed loads and they're as good as new. Nothing changes when you wash them. But you've got that nice fleece lining inside. Yes, pleased with them. Um, smooth knickers. Now, the Tesco ones are smooth, like I said. But these are lovely as well. This isn't sponsored at all, by the way. This is just stuff that I've collected. And I've just not used these ones yet. I've had these some time and I thought, you know, I always store, I always have a couple of pairs of new pairs of knickers stored. Like I've got that white pair from Tesco's. These are the Fantasy Smoothies. They're one size, second skin feeling. And I've, I've got one other pair, I think these are, they're in the wash. But these are, yeah, but the only thing is with these, they're quite short. And that's why I bought the Marx's ones. And they're not as warm. When it was 40 degrees last year, this is what I was prancing around the house in most of the time because it was just too hot. But it's lovely to have something nice and lacy, isn't it? In your little kit of underwear. Yeah, they fantasy do some beautiful slips. Really lovely. Right, that's that and that. Now, I featured this some time ago. I've got two of these, a black one and a white one. They're actually a little bit too small for me, these. But I bought these from H&M. They're like a little bandeau top. But the reason I bought these was um, if you've got anything a little bit too low. I'm not one for showing off my cleavage. And I, if I remember rightly, I'd a couple, I've had a couple of dresses where they're just a little bit too low at the front and you can't really pin them either. And so I wore these over the top of my bra and that just gives you that bit there. It does show under the dress, but it just covers your modesty up and they look okay. Very impressed with these. I'm going to resize actually. I'm going to buy these again this year and buy them in a bigger size. Yeah, they come in two packs, black and white. And I, I was really pleased with that idea. I came up with that myself. <laughs> Quite proud of that one. Um, because it's nice just to, you know, if you're bending down, you don't see everything. And uh, you, you're not flashing your boobs off. But the outfit is still looking put together. Yeah, so that's the little bando tops. Yeah, finally the moulded bra. This is also by Fantasy. It is my favourite brand. I know I keep banging on about the Fantasy, but why fix what's not broken? You know, it's what works for me, so that's why I go for that brand. If you find your brand, stick with that brand. Stick with that size. Make sure you get measured when there's any changes, especially. Um, yeah. And this is the moulded bra, so this will give you a nice round look. This is actually okay under t-shirts as well. If you don't like your shape of your boobs and if things are not looking right, then a moulded bra is a good one to go for as well. So that's it. That's all my kit of uh, hiding my lumps and bumps. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give the film a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you enjoyed the film, please subscribe. I'd love that. Um, hopefully in the next, well, it will be next week most probably now. Hopefully my deliveries are going to come and we'll get that re renovation vlog up for the bedroom. So I can't wait to share it with you, but it's not finished yet and it will be soon so i hope you'll join me for that so i will see you in the next one